Hi, it's Mark Owen from Moves Mark the PR, the editor of Punchline Magazine. I'm at the launch of Superdry in Cheltenham. I'm with Katie Pollard, the PR manager for Superdry. Great to meet you, Katie. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you ever so much for You're inviting me welcome. today. Punchline Talks, here we go. You're going to give me a little guided tour of in three minutes. So, yes. what have we got over here, then? So, this is our studio's collection. As you come into the store, there's studios on the left hand side and performance sport on the right hand side. Um, so our studios collection on this side here is our minimal and sophisticated collection. So it's very clean, um, subtle branding. It's just, it's quite different for Super Dry in the sense that it's not sort of big logos like people are used to seeing. It's, it's like I say, very clean, um, very easily styled. Basics that you need in your Yeah, I noticed, I noticed there's no logos on there at all. No, it is just a very sort of like minimalistic approach. Mm. So they're very sort of, they are the basics you need in your wardrobe, really. Very easily done for the day to day essentials. Okay, what's this collection then? Same type of thing and it's a sort of mix of jumpers and jackets? Yeah, which are obviously really big at the moment. Really nice stitching detail, which is obviously a popular trend right now. Yeah, this is right. You can't go wrong with a classic shirt. Lots of different colourways. Gile, love a gile again, another classic piece. Yeah, I like that, I like that feel of that very much. Sort of yeah. like yeah, and the more heavier kind of wool. That's very nice. Yeah, now, what does really that what does that retail for? This one, oh I'll have to check that one. Now I know one thing, if I bought that, it would come with its uh, regular new um, bumper at the front of it. This is actually, this is, so this is nice here, so it's, oh, wow, okay. this is connected to a gilet inside. Right. Which is attached there and a nice like... Well, wow, it's going to be very warm. Very warm, yeah. Okay. We've got some smart heavy coats here. I suppose something like that would be, um, would be ideal if you're going to sort of like, the races or a sporting event and you want to look... You want to look um, stylish, of but of course not get too cold. No, exactly. Sorry, can't hear you. Got to speak up. Sorry. These pieces here, so really nice lit wear here. Yeah, um, love the feel of that. Let's see what this one's made from because. Sorry. Here we go. So this one is made from yak. From yak. Yak, which is more um, sustainably sourced, so it's a lot better, obviously, for the environment in Kashmir. Um, so because of yak, we also use hemp and tensile as well, which are much more sort of sustainably responsible. Yes, yeah, part, um, part of the move of the company now, isn't it? To try and be more yes, sustainable. Yeah, 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 it's a big mission for the brand. So by 2030, we want to be... Okay. And this time they've got the brand on them. Yes. Again, it's very subtle though, very subtle. Um, and then this sort of tie-dye effect here, which was actually used on quite a few of our pieces, which is really nice. So it's just a little bit different. It's a complete move away from the Japanese writing as well. Yeah, I mean, it's all kind of still infused. Obviously, Japanese, American and British is like what we're sort of using here. Um, we move a bit further. Yeah, sorry, guys. Sorry. Hi there. Yeah, so we've got kind of like the bold colours here, really nice standout pieces. Yeah, really good. So in our performance sport, we focus on three sort of aspects of training. So we've got run, train and flex. And we also do a snow ski collection, which is at the back of the store. There are four sort of main elements to the performance sport section. I mean, I really like the cut and the look of them as well. And the colours are really vibrant yeah, and nice really, as well. Yeah, they're really contouring. So they're really complimentary on your figure, a lady wearing leggings. But they're very sculpted, so they're very, like, complimentary to your fit. Now, the big thing about this section of the market, Superdrive come a little bit late to the party. Um, you know, because the, the others have been there beforehand. Do you think sure. you can steal, you know, steal the march from now? Yeah, I think it's important to start from like grassroots. So I think we know there's big sort of competitors out there. You know, Nike, Adidas, 
Um, but I think if you're starting with grassroots, then you can kind of really get in with the more specific niches of sport. So like I say, the run, train, flex, and the snow. When we do our sort of targeted sort of marketing, we can go to those kind of running magazines, you know, there's like yoga, all the different kind of aspects we can hone in on rather than trying to be across bigger brands who obviously dominate the market in that, that area. I mean, as a PR manager and the PR person that's leaning, it must be a great gig to have you. Yeah, no, it is. It's really, it's really, really good, and it's an exciting time to be here as well with these different collections we have because the direction the brand's going in is very exciting. Um, these are just two of our collections, so studios and performance for. We also have um, code, and we also have. Oh, I'm going blank. Yes. Performance for studios code. No, I can't even think what they are off my head now. There's five anyway. Five different collections that we have. So it's, it's great to be able to tap into those different markets rather than just being set on one mass market, essentially. I met the guy who deals the innovation side of it earlier. Yeah.